Hey everyone, so I'm at my friend John's workshop here. We've been communicating with each other for a number of months to plan building this new turbine. Uh, I'm currently showing you on top of the housing. This is going to become the housing. Uh, we're just setting up the machines now to uh, drill this plate. Um, stainless steel laser cut plate that's going to get machined nice and round. And then we're going to put a dividing head on the mill and drill all the holes in order to accept these um, molded glass fiber reinforced turgo cups. So John's just getting everything set up now and we're gonna construct this uh, turbine. You do a measurement now. You tell me when. There we go. up where it was before. Perfect. Now I've got to get the bolts for that now. They're down there. Yeah, just getting the uh, table lined up with two points that face each other to get a very close centre. Looks pretty good to me. Just go all the way around doing all them, check yeah. we've got our divisions and we're correct and then we'll yeah. mark them finally and we can drill them. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looks good, perfect.
getting the uh, inner circle of holes done here. This is two circles of holes. So one, two, three, and in the dividing plate. And then hole. This that happens to work out at 15 degrees, uh, so you could do it without having the dividing plate quite easily. But it, you know, it just helps take out the potential to for making a mistake. So just use it, you know. Six holes through the middle that interact with the, uh, the adapter. So, because there's six holes here, they 60 degree increments. Let me slow jump. It will. There we go, there is the, uh, the plate that the spoon's attached to, all drilled and machined to the right size. So uh, now we drill the corresponding holes on the adapter. Alright, got this uh, plate all machined, this sort of size, all the holes are all drilled using the dividing plate. And I'm going to put these spoons on, start assembling it. So there it is, Turgo Turbine put together, 24 cup, 144 jet PCD, it's in the centre. Uh, it still needs these all going around and making sure they're all facing perfectly in the right direction and they all need torquing. Um, but yeah, that's it, just assembled. Uh, so we're going to continue work on the other bits that this bolts to. Okay, so back at my workshop here, um, here is the completed turbine that you've seen. Uh, me and John building. Um, this is a laser cut plate that we then put on a rotary table and machined out all the holes and uh, machined in a groove in here to stop water getting in and machined a spigot on top and this piece and all the holes that clamp it all together. 
It's going to be a tapped thread in the middle here. There's a jacking bolt, so I can pull this off of the shaft of the turbine. Uh, these are um, nylon reinforced plastic turgo cups, which are rated for a kilowatt. So we can go up to a kilowatt with these. And this is a 144 millimeter jet PCD um, with the alternator I'm using. Should give me about 120 volts. We have to change the system a little bit, make it dump load system, run the higher voltage, make it more power. Um, but yeah, that is the turbine. That's the machining done in it. All these have been torqued down. Um, four newton meters or foot pounds, can't remember. But yeah, they've been they've been uh, torqued down to the correct settings anyway, and uh, all tight. And we shouldn't have any flying off like we did in the last one. And that is a proper machined turbo wheel. A proper proper professional job there so yeah that's going to be the end of this video next video we shall be uh, putting it together and actually assembling it okay hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching